Buenas tardes and good evening from Guadalajara. Tonight we're at Estadio Jalisco for Atlas FC versus Cruz Azul. And I'll tell you what, just coming up to the stadium now, there's an awful lot of police about. Not too sure why. Maybe the club coaches are, are pulling in. We're here about an hour and a half early, so that might be why. But anyways, we can see some atmosphere just outside the stadium over there. Um, so we're going to head over and have a look at what's going on tonight. It is our second time seeing Cruz Azul. If you remember correctly, we saw Cruz Azul play in uh, Tijuana a couple of weeks ago, and there were an awful lot of fans that took over uh, Estadio Caliente in Tijuana that night. So I do wonder if there'll be a lot of Cruz Azul fans here tonight in Guadalajara. Anyway, let's go check it out. So we're just outside the Estadio Jalisco now, and we've come here for some pre-match grub. So what we've got here, we've got some tortas, which is basically, uh, it's like a sandwich, basically with meat and all sorts of toppings, vegetables in, uh, and all this sauce as well. I don't know if you can see that. Lots of sauce in there on top as well, which is uh, very nicely done. We're gonna give it a go. Mm. Boy, bien, you got a bit of chili in there as well. A bit of hot flavor. Tell you what, they start doing this in South London. I'll be there every game at Sellers Park, outside the ground, get some tortoise before. Excellent grub. <laughs> That's some top class grub, that is, Luke. You want to try some? You'll like it. So we're finally inside the Stadio Jalisco now. I'll tell you what, what a palaver it was to get inside this stadium. Personally, I've been to over a hundred stadiums all over the world and this stadium right here has the strictest security of any stadium of any country I've been to in my entire life. We weren't allowed to bring our bag in, wasn't allowed to bring the camera in. They picked up my wallet, they, they searched through every... My, my wallet's only small, it's only got a bit of cash in and a few bits of change. And they went through every nook and cranny of that wallet to make sure there was nothing in there that I wasn't allowed to bring in the stadium. But really strange. They put a patted me down, touched me around my private parts and everything. I'm not joking, I'm not lying to you. There's a chance if Cruz has all it's gone out. But yeah, they were proper patting me down, patting my balls and everything. But yeah, just not a nice experience coming into the stadium. El uso correcto de tu cubrebocas, zapato, nariz y boca es obligatorio en as I was saying before, we weren't allowed to bring our bags or camera into the Estadio Jalisco and our Spanish isn't too good, uh, but basically what the stewards were saying was you have to put your bag inside your car, there's no storage space in the stadium. So we're a bit like, oh, what do we do? Our hotel is a half an hour, 45 minute drive away from here. And luckily, uh, a Mexican guy called Daniel, really nice guy, he spoke English and he came over to us and he said, our friend owns a bar just outside the stadium. And what happened was, um, he, he let us go into the bar and put our bag behind the bar 
uh, and after the game we're going to hopefully go back there and nothing inside that bag is going to be stolen and all should be okay. But yeah, big shout out to Daniel if you're watching. Thank you very much, mate. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've never felt so uncomfortable in a football stadium before. There's these riot police and security going around and they've got all their big gear on and they're just patrolling the stadium watching you going up and down the aisles every five minutes. And I don't know what it is, it's just not a very, not very nice place to be, I guess. Um, Estadio Jalisco is a very old stadium with very old ways, I guess. But I don't know, this, this football should not be like this. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, let's try to stop being negative. Let's focus on the game ahead of us. As we were in Tijuana, we are completely surrounded by Cruz Azul fans. They are everywhere like cockroaches. Uh, I mean that in a good way. They seem to be quite nice guys, but um, yeah, it's crazy. There's Cruz Azul fans everywhere you go in Mexico. Even in the streets, you see at least one person a day wearing a Cruz Azul shirt, but you'll probably hear him in a second chanting. The Estadio Jalisco itself is a very nice old ground and it's huge, I'm telling you. I think it's the third biggest stadium in the whole of Mexico. It's also one of the oldest stadiums in Mexico and it, and it played host to the 1970 and 1986 World Cups. Pele has played on this pitch right here. So it's half time here and it's Atlas nil, Cruz Azul nil. Not much to comment on in that first half. The atmosphere here is okay, there's a lot of Cruisers All fans around me, but in all honesty, I'm slightly disappointed from the support of Atlas. They've only got a few fans opposite us in the other end of the stadium. They're not really making enough noise that we can hear over here, but the numbers are so little and I'm not really sure why. It is a Tuesday night, so that might come into, uh, come into, come into play a bit, but slightly disappointed with the Atlas fans. And also the security in here is just ridic ridiculously tight. We tried to go around, but you're not even allowed to leave your seat here really. And I don't know. I've never really had many bad match day experiences, but this has to be up there as one of the worst in terms of not feeling welcomed. The atmosphere is not the best and the security just ruining it in my opinion. So, there we go. It's not football. Well, second half just begun and Atlas have just been awarded a penalty. He looked pretty stonewalled to me. I think he's going to go to VAR, but I'll be surprised if they overturn it. Well, I think I jinxed it there. It's gone to VAR and uh, no penalty. I'll tell you what, this is one of the scrappiest games of football I've watched in some time. Jesus. All right, you heard it here first. If anyone's going to score, it's going to be this lad, the bloke that looks like Soyon Chu from Leicester. He will be the goal scorer. I'm telling you right now, Soyon Chu will score. Come on, Soyon Chu, lad. Do him. Oh, look at him, he's going to score. Give it to Sion Chu. Oh, you're shit, you're shit. You're not a fan of the uh, the stadium sounds, Lucy? So annoying. It's so it's annoying. Fake. It is fake. If they want someone to chant, you can let them chant for them. Exactly. I've taught her well, lads. 95th minute now, the last minute of added time. Will we see some late drama? Oh, no, it's all over. So, full time from Estadio Alisco. It has finished Atlas nil, Cruisers all nil. And I'll tell you what, that game was nothing to shout about at all. Very boring affair. Estadio Alisco itself is a very nice stadium. Very old and big stadium, as I said before. And I would recommend visiting here. Security are very tight, I have to say. But yeah, thank you for watching.